The yearning that some people may experience for a child is a major, visceral feeling that many people are incapable of shaking off. Unfortunately, biology plays a major factor in conception, and there is a myriad of reasons why some couples cannot conceive naturally. Fortunately, for those who can't conceive, there are several options to enable couples to bring a child into their life. Prospective parents can explore options such as adoption or even in vitro fertilization. Thanks to these alternatives, an increasing number of people have been able to share their love by adding a child into their family, even if Mother Nature has provided obstacles. Omaha, Nebraska sits one hour north of the state's capital, Lincoln, and it is also home to a number of hometown entrepreneurs. Among them is Elliot Doherty a hairstylist and cosmetologist with a robust social media presence that he used as a means of working with local designers and developing his business. One day, however, he received a Facebook message from Matthew Elledge. Curious about him, Elliot checked out Matthew's profile and saw that he described himself as a Martian and an artistic warrior. Intrigued, Elliot responded to the message, and the two of them went on a date at a small French cafe in downtown Omaha. The two of them fell in love and began seeing each other regularly. Not even a full year later, they moved in together. They were madly in love and wanted to take some time to enjoy it before settling down. With this in mind, the two of them took off on a four-month trip around Europe. While they were there, they visited a number of places, including the Netherlands and Turkey. But upon returning to the U.S., the couple learned that Elliot's mother had cancer and may not have very long left. The news sparked a realization in them that life is short and the unexpected may be just around the corner. The legal definition of marriage had recently been amended to include more than just heterosexual couples, and Elliot and Matthew were eager to tie the knot while his mother was still around to witness it. Soon afterward, the couple got engaged. Matthew was thrilled about the engagement, and when he returned to his job as a public school teacher, he was elated to share the news with his co-workers. Unfortunately, while the laws had recently changed, it didn't prevent some people from maintaining individual views, and as news about his engagement traveled, the Omaha Board of Education decided not to renew his contract. Many of Matthew's students fought vigilantly for their teachers' rights, but there was little that could be done to change their minds. As the couple dealt with the challenges they had been presented with, they didn't let anything spoil their wedding, and they were officially wed in a forest where the two of them had shot a short film early on in their relationship. After the wedding, they had several hard facts to face. First of all, Matthew was without a job. And to make matters worse, Elliot's mother had passed away very soon after the ceremony. It was during all of this that Elliot's sister had a baby. The infant sparked a wave of baby fever in the two of them, and it was obvious that they both wanted to raise a child. Unfortunately, starting a family wasn't going to be as easy as they hoped. With Matthew being recently fired, it was unlikely that adoption agencies would look at them, and after researching IVF, it appeared that it wouldn't be a good fit for them. They were afraid of getting caught up in red tape as a same-sex couple, and would have been responsible for finding their own surrogate. It seemed like their dreams may have to be put on hold for some time. But just then, their prayers were answered. We'll tell you what changed for the couple right after this. But first, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon right now. After you click the bell, comment Notification Squad below, and I'll reply to all of you saying thanks. Matthew and Elliot knew they wanted a child, but both of them were unsure how to make their desires a reality. That's when Elliot's sister, Uriah, offered the couple one of her own eggs. She wasn't a suitable option for a surrogate, but she did have healthy eggs. The couple accepted the incredible offer, but nonetheless, they knew that without a surrogate, they were still miles from having a child of their own. They had almost given up hope when Matthew's mother, 60-year-old Cecil Rainek Elledge, stepped up. She generously offered to carry the child for them. 
and after doctors assured them that her age wouldn't be a detriment, the procedure was complete, and after taking 24 eggs from Uribe and sperm from Matthew Cecil, a single embryo was implanted, which resulted in a happy and healthy baby girl who arrived 38 weeks later.